My name is Tanisha and I am the owner of Tanisha's Beauty Supply in Oak Park, Michigan. I teach beauty supply classes and provide one-to-one -one coaching for those who are interested in opening beauty supply stores or moving their businesses to operate without them. Today, I interviewed my friend Brittany, the owner of Shar She Beauty Supply in Belleville, Michigan. She has recently moved her store into a larger space in a busier location. Listen to her story and be inspired. I'm just as excited as Brittany. <laughs> if that could be possible. <laughs> We've been so, for each other. Yes. Yes. That's so, but that's the latest. thing. Knowing with somebody is knowing the growing pains of it. When somebody else, you're like, oh, you got a new location. You got that. You like, ah! You yeah. Like, <laughs> like whoa. I am because screaming. You know, yeah, because you know how hard it is. Yes, yeah. I'm screaming. And if you ever need anything, Brittany, just give me a call and whatever I can do to help make this journey easier for you. Because you're you're planning into my grandchildren. My grandchildren need to see that this is possible. Yeah. So this is not just yours. This mm -hmm. is ours as a community yeah. of African Americans because we need to see you. Yeah. We need to know that it can be done. We need to know you're here. So this is a movement. When you expand, I get excited. Just God is good. Mm -hmm. But I like this. Now, was this here already? The 2153 Rossonville? Um, no, this building got renovated. And so that was an added. You know that this used to be Payless. About oh, four years ago. Okay. <laughs> this is a beautiful yeah. building. Did you paint the outside? No, Renov they okay. painted the outside. This is beautiful. I see that you don't have your windows full of posters either, like your typical beauty supply. You just have some posters advertising, and then you have your, your turquoise and teal colors showing through. So that looks very elegant with your mannequins. I like that. You have your exchange policy here. The rest the register, so there's no confusion. Okay. Close well, sign. Proudly backing our community together and your business hours and you're open monday through saturday 11 to 7 30 and closed on sundays good oh proud black owned and proud awesome and it is just undeniably beautiful and large in here well tell us about your journey from your in, in everybody, you're gonna have to watch Brittany's other video to know okay. her backstory. <laughs> I won't make her repeat that again, but tell us about your journey for expansion. I used to be at, it's literally around the corner, 30 <laughs> seconds away. I was in a shopping center. The shopping center, they said that changes were gonna be coming. They sold the company. I believe they're moving to more so residential. So they so took your building to and instead of renewing a lease they are changing those spaces into residential homes yes they weren't renewing anyone's lease even if it's the you know the big companies because it was rainbow and city trend and dollar tree over there they weren't renewing anybody's lease but they said they weren't going to push anybody out i looked for <laughs> looked for stores and tanisha knows how that is oh my god <laughs> Like you said, it Looking. was a nightmare. Yeah, you got to look. You got to meet with the realtor. You see the space. You're comparing it. You're trying to negotiate. The, well, I mean, you do negotiate the rent. This building, it was nothing but God because I couldn't. I didn't think this building was available and I was looking at other ones and I'm like, I don't know which one to go. And I said, me and Tanisha had this conversation. <laughs> I said, God, close every single door. Oh my God, did you say the same yeah, thing? I said that, that, when you said that, it gave me goosebumps oh because it was the same. I didn't know what to do. And I was like, I don't trust myself. I want to like, I keep saying, Lord, I'm your vessel, but like, you, <laughs> where you want to use me? <laughs> so I said, I'm like, okay, God. So I'm very clear close every door and the one that you want me to have then okay i inquired about this one and then a couple other ones one somebody got my mom came back and she was like you know the building that you wanted somebody's moved in oh. so i'm like okay and that was the only spot left in that that shopping center so i said okay i guess that means the other one <laughs> i go <laughs> cross town to the other one and he's like oh and i'm closing in on another one. Oh. so then i'm like this sign was still up so i called here and she was like yeah but i have like four other businesses that are trying to get it whoa so i'm like well let me go in right away so my dad was like you write her a check right now <laughs> <laughs> are you ready are you oh my goodness and i you know my parents are always like be ready be ready yeah. so the, i saw this the same day i saw it i was like okay 
I'm gonna take it. Like, where do I sign? I had to move faster than, so it went a lot faster than I expected. Well, that's good because yeah. my journey was I mean, six months. <laughs> Well, it was good, but it was also like, I'm still like in a fog. Like, I'm still discombobulated. Yes, I know. And how long have happened? you been here? Uh, a month. Oh, you just moved yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, wow. About how much money would you tell them to be prepared to put down when they're trying to get a building? Because we have viewers who want to get a building. They have no idea what's required. What kind of money should they be thinking about having set aside for obtaining a building? If you are enjoying this content, press the like button, share the video, and subscribe to Tanisha's Beauty Supply YouTube channel for better business practices. Need beauty supply classes or coaching? Sign up at TanishasBeautySupply.com. Currently, as of December 2022, classes are only $49.99 and one-to-one -one coaching is only $59.99 per session. The amount of money, it, a lot of it depends on the location. If you're in a high location, you're going to have to... You're gonna have to come out your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> but you will be on the main streets or a busy, a high traffic area. So it'll be worth the it'll be worth the cost. And as we can see, Brittany <laughs> is on a main street. What street is this, Brittany? Uh Rossonville Road. Rossonville Road. So okay. this one was actually perfect for me because before I was sitting off back, this one is perfect because you have Tim Hortons, KFC, McDonald's, Wendy. Somebody's always She with the big so dog. Woo! Somebody's Woo! always trying to get fast food. And KFC, you know the world is shorthanded. Yes. KFC, God bless them. They have a line that's so, because they're always so busy, okay. dinner time. And their line is so long, which works out perfect for me because a lot of times the wives get out the car and come and oh. stop here while they're waiting. So it's, it's been perfect. Okay. <laughs> so so would you say uh people need to have first month rent? Yeah, last month? Yeah. Uh, how like how many months should they do, have ready? Well, first uh you ask for I don't know what the proper term is. Mm -hmm. I keep rent calling abatement. it free rent. Yes. Rent <laughs> abatement. Thank you. <laughs> you try to get is and depending on it also to depending on the shape of the building. If the building is like my first one, it was as is, and you'll have to do more work, then the price can, you can really lowball the price more because that's more that you have to do. And you can push back how much of the- Rent abatement. Rent abatement. <laughs> <laughs> rent abatement that you can do because it's gonna take you longer to get it together. Right. Um, if it's moving ready, you're probably not gonna have that much wiggle room, but you can still get a couple months rent within that. Security deposit, which so you need security deposit, which matches whatever the rent is. So okay. if your rent is two thousand or three, depending on where you are, right. then you're gonna have to. If your rent is two thousand, your security deposit most likely is gonna be two thousand. Okay. So you're gonna need four thousand. I would still, if you can do more, I would definitely do more, especially for a rainy day or whatever. If the building has to get ready, it may be not ready on time. And then now you're scrambling, trying to figure out because your store isn't open, but you still have to pay rent. These numbers are going to be different everywhere you go. Yeah. They're th Vanilla like, City this is Belleville, Michigan on Rossonville Road. It's not going to be the same as Chicago, Illinois, yeah. Ketsy Road. It's yeah, not going to be the same. <laughs> so it's hard for us to tell you, you need this amount of money. Yeah. We can't tell you that, but we can. Brittany is saying you need first month rent available. You need a security deposit available. And is there any other month that they should have available? I would do, if, if they could do a couple months, mm -hmm. that would be great. Also, they have to take into account the utility bill. You know, all that is going to get switched over to you once you take over the building. Okay. And so coming to the table, like your parents said, look, be ready. Be yeah. ready. You had to be ready. And we want to tell our viewers, you have to be ready with at least probably three months of yeah. whatever that rent is asking. You need to be ready with at least three months in your bank account. That's an excellent. That would be excellent. So that means... <laughs> Tone it down. The lifestyle has to be toned down a little bit. Right. <laughs> there has to be a little a like, fun suffering. Right. <laughs> it's, all, it's all gonna pay. Delay it's gratification. Pay. Delay actually. gratification. That's exactly what it You've is. Been open for a month. Mm -hmm. So you opened in September. Yep, September third. Yeah. Okay. Um, how's the traffic? Is it equivalent to where you left or does it seems like it takes time to pick back up to where you were? No, it actually is. 
more than double the traffic a lot of Woo! times. Yeah. Praise them. <laughs> because, you know, praise them. <laughs> right? Praise them like that. <laughs> the customers that I previously had at my other store, and like I said, it's I'm literally walking distance from my other store, my okay. old store. Great. It's just on the front street. So people that didn't know about me, now you can see. That helps out with advertising because you know how it is with the city. They don't want your signs all over the place. You know, the yard signs are pulled. I just had some pull, so I'm a little, uh. <laughs> right, you pay for I'm those signs. I'm a little signs. in my feelings, yeah. yeah. They pull the yard signs, a lot of restrictions. So to be on the front, and then I have the sign on top, the sign, the pole sign, and then a small sign in the entrance as well. Yes. These signs are no joke, y'all. I know, signs can run you anywhere from, would you agree, from anywhere from, 3,000 to 15,000 yes. on average. Yep. And now yeah. with inflation, who knows what it is now. Right. You know? <laughs> and I don't even know if the city allows you to put up temporary signs. I'm no. not sure. Yeah, depending on what city or sometimes like a shopping center I was in did not allow a temporary sign. So they said the day that you're open, you can't open without the sign. Okay. So, which you can. They said you good, can't open without the sign? Without a sign. Are you serious? No temporary sign. They did not. Yeah. Which having a sign up was good anyways before I opened because it let people know what was coming. These signs light up right. when they're driving by and it's getting late or whatever, they can still see it. So that is a plus, but that's another added to your three months you're trying to save plus the security deposit. Now you have to add the sign. That is know, important. You open. How long did you have the store around the corner? Almost four years. It just became four years of me being in business. Oh, last month. You started off with about 2,000 square feet? Yeah, in the front, it was way smaller because that, that building was divided up. In so it was around 2,000 or something, yeah, but I couldn't use majority of the 2,000. Oh, okay, and it, so... The way it was broken up, yeah. And then now you've expanded to over 3,000 square feet. Yeah. That's wonderful. Everybody, if you want to know about Brittany's products and, and if it was difficult for her to get them, you can see the other video, the first video that Brittany and I did together, which was about two years ago, I maybe. So, yeah. Yeah, and then you can watch that video as well. What do you want people to know about Sharshi Beauty Supply? When you are black and you open a business, it's something completely different. There's a lot more on you than just, oh, I'm just open a business because I enjoy this. This is a business, but also have the community on your shoulders. They're always representing, you're always trying to make sure your people are taken care of. And those people are like, what are you doing for the community? And you're like, oh, I just opened up yesterday. Like, give me a, <laughs> give me a chance, me please. A chance. But it's, it's like, you are required to bring them the best business, great customer service, and try to order what you can, this and that and the other. But you also, it's kind of, we're kind of like grandfathered into being, also have obligations to yeah. the community. It's a movement. Yeah, and it's which a, a lot of other people are not going to have to go through. It's not their realm of reality, but for us, it's like a business and giving back to the community as well. It's like, yeah. And how do you give back to the community? Well, with my church, we do back to school things. I supply some uh, pencils, book supplies, things like that. You know, I throw the hair samples in there. Got it. <laughs> yes, we um, do. A, a shelter, a local shelter out here. I do supply them hair supplies, shampoos, conditioners. That's amazing. And That's almost unheard of with your typical beauty supplies that yeah. have been in our communities for years. I don't ever hear that there's a donation of anything to anybody. Yeah. So the fact that you're donating within the community is, that's phenomenal. Yeah. Actually what they said, they're like, oh, we never had a beauty supply drop off. I'm like, all oh, these beauty That's crazy. Yeah. All these years? That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, I know they have stuff to give. I do welcome day, which is on a college campus where I'm passing out, same thing, supplies, uh, samples, should I say. And then, um, notebooks, pencils, and then I also, we have a uh, candy loop, some local things out here in Belleville where you're uh, passing out candy and samples and stuff for kids. And I just did last month, um, there's an entrepreneur, a youth entrepreneur center that's not too far from here. I did a uh, speaking, like a speaking engagement there. Oh my goodness. I am definitely gonna be partnering with you and doing some community events as well. Yes, that would be great. <laughs> yeah, that's where my heart is. I'm so elated to hear this. Yes. And the fixtures, 
I know that people want to know, like, for example, this turquoise stand here. This is not something you see every day. How did this come about? <laughs> so we're going to get real transparent. <laughs> okay. Fixtures are ridiculously expensive. And you want to keep your cost with inventory and, like, advertising. What I do is find stores that are closing. I go in and purchase their fixtures. That's the best way to yeah. do it. They yeah. bring in a third party person. Sometimes if I know a store is closing, but they haven't got their fixtures, I ask them to put me on a list. Oh. And so I can get the first, <laughs> try to get the first pick. So like this one, like especially if stores are going, if they're closing like completely, like when all the sears, so they're not shipping it anywhere else. These came from a store. I spray painted them because they were black. Awesome <laughs> <painted> idea. <laughs> awesome idea. Match the store. The only thing about that and not ordering it like regular is you have to go get it yourself and bring it yourself. So I just rented a U-Haul and got my family, okay. as I always do. Uh -huh. And they helped me. And um, also, I oddly enough, do this in a safe way, but I got some things off of Facebook Marketplace. Oh, Facebook Marketplace, yeah. I, uh, that's a good idea. And there's sometimes people that when a store closes and they can't sell the fixtures, they'll, the third party person takes it and puts it in storage. And a lot of times it's 100% profit for them. So they're willing to negotiate and they post it. And But don't go by yourself. I always bring uh, my dad or my brother or somebody with me and not at no crazy times, you know? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> 10 a.m. or 2 p.m. Like, a lot of times I'll Google Maps the area before. And a lot of times it's a storage unit, but still bring someone with you. And um, then your mannequins, you said you got those yes. from another store. Yeah, there was another uh, boutique that me and her uh, were <laughs> became cool. And uh, I think she just switched to online only. Well, she sold those three to me. Uh, fixtures, if you guys look up fixtures, they're really expensive. Nobody's going to know a lot of this, these fixtures are used. Nobody's looking that close at <laughs> fixtures to see if it's used or not. So exactly. get it, clean it up, and... Paint it if you need to, or do what you need to do. And they're more focused on the product. So. Yeah. And Detroit Store Fixtures has a used section in oh, the yes. back as well. Yeah. They can do that. And I like how you spray painted your baskets. So everybody, I know you're going to come and flood Brittany's oh. store. Let me just see that line on Tim Hortons. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do see that line. And that's when you're saying people yeah, get out. It's in the morning, so KFC isn't open. But in the afternoon with KFC, then, and I'm, I'm closed on Sundays anyways, but KFC, they come, and that's why location is, is really important. Because like I said, advertising, there's, the city has a lot of restrictions of what you can and cannot do. My old store, I had lights going around, but now I'm on the main street, so now I need to make sure I ask for permission. I'm actually still waiting on permission. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and the window will be done tomorrow. So yeah, there's there's things you can do to advertise. There's restriction, and it depends on the city. Uh, some cities don't want things on the sidewalks, inflatable things they don't want, or maybe you could do it for one day grand opening, but after that, then you can't. So I would make sure before you spend money on something to double check what's your township and see what is there some things that it looks like I can still be able to do, but I'm still gonna ask just to make sure, cause you don't wanna waste money. The lights, did you have to put the lights in or were they here? They did the lights before I got here. They look great. <laughs> when um, Payless was here, they had the drop ceiling. And so when they did all that, they... And which gives people an idea if they move into a space and they have to do it themselves, they really can just not deal with drop ceiling and just paint the ceiling, like spray paint the ceiling, professional paint, all yeah. white. So that's just an idea. So do you feel like you're living the dream? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I had all these lives. Like I, I go from <laughs> one, one phase to the other. And my dad, we used to have to pass this to get to my old store. And my dad always used to be like, I can see that being your store. I can be, and I'm like, I, I think that's too big. When I post pictures of my first store, with my first few months, I mean, it's, there was nothing in the store. You started with very little? Very little, because no no company was like giving me, they weren't giving me a chance. And also, it was me, there was no blueprint. It was me, that's why I'm so grateful that you have this channel, because there was no Tanisha's Beauty Supply. <laughs> And I just kind of had to fumble my way. Black people are the most, in my opinion, the most resilient. 
all of our lives, what we've been told, you know, you gotta be smarter, faster, stronger. So this beauty supply is no different. It's gonna take, even though we are <laughs> doing what we supposed to, sometimes it's still, still not given a chance, but we just, like I said, we, we're resilient. So we just keep going. We keep connecting with each other, using each other's resources. Keep following Tanisha's beauty supply <laughs> channel and we'll be all right. We're gonna so thank you so much for sharing your story and your expansion. This is a beauty supply expansion. Yeah, and when I tell you- items are neatly stacked. Look at that. That's how I am in my store. <laughs> Things are in neat rows. Listen, it's probably been homecoming <laughs> weekend, so it's- <laughs> I've been trying to straighten. <laughs> no, it, I can tell. Which is good, it's good, it's a busy weekend. So I, yeah, I everything's in neat rows. I'm the same way with my, and I love how she also has things pulled to the front. So you see these two jars here? They're not like pushed back like that. She purposely pulls her items to the front. That's a good, that's a good method. And do you notice that all of her labels are forward facing? So you know exactly what it is very organized. Remember to like and subscribe for beauty supply classes or one-to-one -one beauty supply coaching. Visit tenaciousbeautysupply.com. Tanisha's beauty supply, beauty power and style, power and style. Tanisha's beauty supply, beauty power and style, power and style. Get whatever you need.